Hey, happy Thursday to you. Welcome on this beautiful Thursday to Five Minutes with Phil. Thank you once again for giving me the opportunity to unpack God's Word for you. And I hope that this is a blessing for you today. And um, I found a great verse or two for us this morning that uh, I, I I really want to lift up some people's uh, image of themselves. You know, I... I I come across people sometimes their 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 image of themselves, their uh, opinion of themselves is so horrible. It people think they're ugly. People think they're meaningless. People think they have no talent. People think that they have nothing to offer. People think that they are second-rate citizens or second-rate uh, rate Christians, and ah, oh, I mean the list goes on and on. And and this might be fueled by what other people have said about us over the years. Maybe a um, maybe some really nasty words have kind of stuck in our mind, and we've believed those lies. And then I read our scripture today, which is found in Psalm 139, beginning in verse 13, and. I'm reminded that, you know what? The truth of God's word is greater than all those lies that I might hear about myself. Want to see what I mean? Take a look at this. Verse 13 says, You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. Did you know that when God made you, he was very proud of what he made. Uh, it is, it's a good thing that he created. You're his masterpiece. You're his workmanship, the scripture says. And I think a lot of times we somehow think that God just threw us together and then and he then threw us on this earth and he doesn't know how we're going to do with all of this and he doesn't know if we're going to succeed. He doesn't know how well we're going to fare, how well we're going to do. And, and, and you know what? God made you very intricately. I mean, I read this verse, the delicate inner parts of my body he knit together in all of us while we were still in our mother's womb. I mean, God took great care in creating you the way that you are created. And you know what? You may not be like another person. You, you may be wired differently than somebody else. That doesn't make you worse or better. Uh, you, <laughs> you might be a person that some people might say is really quirky. And then there might be another person, uh, they might have this quality. They can either be admired by some and tolerated by some and just not so much for some others. But you know what? And, and I'm not saying that we could all work at trying to improve ourselves, okay? We can, we can do that. But, but when the Lord made you, okay, he... He looks at that as an intricate, wonderful work of his art. That's you. God does not make junk. So how you look compared to somebody else, that doesn't really matter. How intelligent you are compared to somebody else, that doesn't matter. How talented you are compared to somebody else, that that doesn't matter because God made you the way that you are. Yes, can we work on being healthy? Can we work on learning? Things? Yeah, absolutely, we can do that. But, but, friend, don't don't compare yourself to other people and think that that's the standard by which God looks at you or judges you. It just it's not the case. No, when when the Lord when the Lord looks at you, He sees. His masterpiece. He sees something, someone that he formed together very carefully and takes and took a lot of joy in putting together. That's you. So it doesn't matter what somebody else thinks of you. What really matters is what God thinks of you. 
And God thinks you are somebody very, very special. And if you could hang on to that today, I think you'll be blessed by that. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.